Alright, that's been a little while, but it's really hot here in Florida. But, been able to grow a little sorrel, red vein sorrel. This is getting a little rough. He's about, I think, three months old. It took me like over a month just to sprout it. Another month for it to grow to maybe that size. And just now it's starting to grow a little. I got a couple in the downspout, but they're doing okay. Got a little bug problem there. That's in the crack key system. This is in the self water and it's got a little wick. That water is really dirty. It's, like I said, this has been wicking up here. That I've been using that for about three months now. But I want to show you something else really quick. Besides our crack key system, remember this is plastic and you can get the food grade NFT system. And I know I've still got one that i got to set up, but I'm just waiting. I was waiting for these guys to get big enough to put them in. So maybe I'll transfer these guys into it next week and show you that. But for right now, I'm going to show you something else. I took a couple of these while they were really small, maybe about, maybe about that size there. And I put them in that marble grow box that we had made last year. Here they are. It's doing pretty good. That's in a marble grow box. So people are concerned about plastic. There's a little pool noodle up here. Like I said, that's made out of EVA, not PVC. And it's not, all it's doing is holding the plant, the roots. Let's see if we can get this up. It's a little heavier than a plastic cover. And I don't want to drop it and break it. See, that's been in there a little while, sitting out in the rain. So now everything's like, every, you know, Everything's not perfect and looking just right. I'll let you see, you know, that's been sitting in there, but this is growing. I didn't know if it would make it or not, so I just tossed them in there. Got a couple of roots. But you can see the pool noodle is just holding up. The pool noodle's not sitting down in the solution. I'd say it's not, this isn't the perfect setup, but this thing's been sitting here outside since last probably going on a year so that's still holding up whereas these guys these little plastic guys after a while they'll start to get brittle and they'll break yeah look like that little I had a bunch of little spaghetti squash and got little caterpillars getting the end of them so that didn't work out but these things will get brittle and break this thing's just as good as the day I made it and that was, I think, less than ten dollars. I have to look back. I got one, two, three pieces of tile. They're twelve inches by three inches, three or four inches. I got three tiles. Now one, two, three, four, five. Because I had to cut the sides. So I got one, two, three, four, and the fifth one I cut. So five of these tiles. I'll go look that up. We can look at our video. I'll link up that video from last year. But we made that. Got some um, caulk. Food grade caulk that they use in restaurants. To hold it together. And it's still holding it together. Uh, we grew, which we weren't supposed to, water spinach. We got had to get rid of the water spinach. The water spinach like grew like mad in here. Just growing wild. But we got rid of that. So we can Water spinach grows really well in here if you're in a state where you can grow it. And now we got sorrel growing in here. And these guys, like I said, they look like they're doing better than those guys there. These all came from the same batch. I pop, put these two over here and these guys are actually doing better. People said you can't grow in the marble. The, the marble is going to mess up your pH. You know, well, these guys are doing okay. The water spinach did okay, so... Maybe after it sets a while it doesn't, or maybe after a couple of years it starts breaking down. Who knows? But for right now, this is doing really well. So, I'll leave these guys in here and see how they go, and we'll check on something else. Maybe next week we'll talk about strawberries. Still got a couple little sitting over there. My uh, squirrels came up and ate, I think, 99% of all my strawberries that I got last year. I only got a couple of them, but they did throw off a bunch of runners. So I popped the runners off and put them in my NFT system. I'll show you that next week. All right, don't forget, live to inspire.
keep on growing. I love y'all. Peace.